gonna start off with an eyeshadow base I'm gonna use Mac soft ochre paint pot and after that I'm going to set that with my face powder by Mac so my transition shade is going to be the Melt Cosmetics stack. I'm going to use the shade Unseen. It's a really burnt warm shade so it depends on what you want as your transition but I prefer to have this one because I'm working with the stacks today. So I'm going to blend that with my Coastal Sense blending brush is one of my favorite blending brushes. And all you're doing is going in windshield wiper, just blending it out. You want to diffuse that. Um, if you want to use a different brush, go ahead. It's on you. I prefer to use a little bit more of a tapered brush. Now I'm taking the shade Enigma and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And you want to make sure you pack this on. The eyeshadow is already pigmented as it is. So it's really not much of a hard work to do but i just love that it's so pigmented and it doesn't have a lot of fallout it depends on which one you use i know the black one has a lot of fallout but this one doesn't so you want to be careful as you're applying this i don't want to raise it up to above my crease if that makes sense i want to just meet halfway to the crease and i want to blend that in with the transition so as you see here, I'm going in on the lid and I'm applying that like right there where the crease is at. Not on top of the crease, but right there. I'm going to be blending that out with a blending brush and the reason why I'm not applying that on the crease area because then it's gonna look a little bit too muddy so you want the transition shade to still seep through as opposed to me blending out the Enigma shade I know that this look is not for everyone um, I personally love this kind of look to be honest with you I love grungy makeup looks I love smoked out burnt orange or you know burgundy shades i love that stuff so i'm gonna take unseen and drag that into my lower lash line for this look i'm not gonna be applying any liner i know it's kind of odd for me not to apply any liner but i am going to use some false lashes for this look I know I said I was not going to apply any liner, but I am going to apply some as my waterline. In Inglot gel liner is just one of my favorites and it's waterproof, so I feel that with Inglot, it, it kind of stays put in my waterline. After I'm done applying my liner, I'm going to blend out my lower lash line with no extra product I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some falsies oh and I'm applying mascara from Too Faced it's the better and better than sex mascara I'm going to be using the lashes with Vegas Nay in collaboration with Vegas Nay it's her lashes by Eyler and it's in the style Grand Glamour now moving on to foundation I'm going to be applying the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Um, I've been loving it all over again and it's just like a really good full coverage foundation. I mean it's not really really the best texture. Um, it's pretty thick but what I do is I add a little bit of argan oil and I mix that in and I just apply and it blends really smoothly. So I'm going to color correct my under eyes. I'm going to use the Benefit Erase Paste. Also, I've been loving this all over again. I do have a full video using this product on how to cover your dark circles. So if you're interested on that and how the product works, then I'll list it down below or I'll list it above the video. 
I'm also going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. I've been loving this. I don't know, it's just, it gives me that full coverage that I want, just like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I'm going to blend that out with my Real Techniques sponge. It's just a really good concealer. I don't see any creasing, barely. I mean, I, I still see some, but it's not as like the other concealers that I've used in the past. Also, you wanna keep in mind when you're doing really smoky makeup looks or a grunge makeup look, you want to keep in mind you want a highlighted under eye. So some people may not be comfortable with that. Some people love that. I personally love that highlighted look. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to set my under eyes with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo powder foundation and I love this stuff I'm a, I, I bought my second one already I'm going to contour with my elf bronze palette it's called bronze beauty and I'm using a stippling brush to blend this out so I can have a flawless bronze look <laughs> I'm also going to contour my nose using the same palette. I'm using the lightest shade in the palette. Now I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm taking the bottom shade to the right, but I noticed that it wasn't giving me as much of a highlight, so I went in next to it and I started using that one too. I'll list the names right on the screen too. I'm gonna blend that out because I don't want anything too harsh on my face after using all those products. And I'm applying mascara on my bottom lower lash line. And now for the lips, I'm going to use one of my favorites so far. is by Lipland. It's called Miami Sands. And I really love the smell of it for some odd I don't know. I just love the smell of it. It's a neutral pink. And I feel that with this look, you do need like a little bit of pink, but not too much. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. Leave me a comment down below and thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.